Welcome. In a previous video, I went over the process of upgrading the SSD in a early 2015 MacBook Pro Retina. I'll put a link in the description to that video. In this video, I want to talk about upgrading SSDs in earlier MacBook Pros, specifically the 2013 and 2014. So I've had a lot of comments and people asking about upgrading the SSD in that, and I don't own one of those machines, so I can't directly say what works or what doesn't work. But I've researched it a little bit, and I know there are a couple different options. So you may get it to work with the solution I used in that video, which was to use an NVMe SSD and an adapter. But you can also get these Otherworld Computing SSDs. Uh, there's the Aura Pro X2 and the Aura Pro N. And I'll put a link in the description to these on Amazon. And if you use those links, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So these are SSDs that will just plug right into your Mac. You don't need the adapter to use these SSDs. So the X2 is the faster of the two and the N is the slower of the two, so the N would be comparable to the Samsung in speed. Although I can't test the speed on any of these because I don't have any of them. So if we look at the prices on these, we have the Samsung on the right here. This is the one I put in, and it's currently $189, and these prices can fluctuate. And then the Otherworld Computing one is $240, and then the other one is $250. So the Samsung's quite a bit cheaper. So I could have opted to go with one of these OWC SSDs when I upgraded my computer. There are a couple reasons I didn't do it. So I have seen some benchmarks that show this one to be very fast in the MacBook Pro. And I wasn't really looking to get more speed out of this. I just needed the capacity. The speed was plenty fine for me. It gives about, I think, 1300 megabytes per second, which is plenty fast for what I do. So when you have a price difference here of $60, I would rather spend the money on the Samsung and save the $60 because Samsung makes really good SSDs. Another thing to consider is that you're upgrading an old computer. I upgraded a five-year-old computer, but if you're going back and upgrading a 2013 or 14, then you have a six and seven-year-old computer. So if this Mac doesn't suit me in two years, I can just pull this SSD out and place it into some other computer or an enclosure or sell it or do whatever with it. If you have one of these SSDs here, you're limited on what machines you can use that in. Now you could probably sell this to another Mac user. So everyone has to make the choice for themselves, but if you're upgrading this really old computer, I would mostly only do it if you need more capacity and not to get higher performance. Because if you really need that much performance, it's probably best to go up to a faster machine anyway. So another issue with upgrading SSDs was a sleep issue. And there's a note here, and I'll put a link in the description of this website, or it's a standby mode issue. And I think this only affects 2013 and 2014 models, but some of them have problems in the standby mode. There's a command here you can type in your terminal to disable that mode. So if you upgrade and you're having this problem, then I would try running this command and see if it helps your problem. So another thing people have asked me, and this isn't related specifically to the 2013, 2014, but just in general, they've asked if this SSD gets hot. And I haven't noticed any problematic heat issues with this. I've been using this for eight months since January, it's August now and I edit a video almost every single day, and I haven't noticed any problems with the drive getting too hot or failing or anything like that. It's been working great for me. That's my experience. That being said, I always keep active backups going. I do a time machine, I do some offsite backups. There's no way to predict when this drive or any drive, even the original drive, will fail or you might lose data. So backups are super important. I'm not a recovery expert, but I'm guessing it could be really tricky to recover data from these SSDs as compared to a spinning hard drive. So my recommendation here is if you have some of these older MacBook Pros, you might want to try one of these Aura drives and then try this uh, command here if you're having standby issues. So if you've used one of these other world computer SSDs and you've had a good or bad experience with either one, please drop a comment below so other people can see that. In the meantime, if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.